Hi everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do a random read for January 10th. Keep in mind that they are just, you know, general readings. Take what applies. If it applies, kick the card to rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. You guys rock. If anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. I have three cards that came out face up, so I'm going to use them. First one is the hair font, also known as a Taurus card. Doing something traditionally, having faith, having hope, a moral standard. Then you get the Ten of Swords. Some sort of backstab, some sort of betrayal. Then you have the Nine of Wands. Somebody's still hanging in there. Not giving up. Maybe because somebody still has faith and hope even after something. Something devastating, something. Hmm. Oh, there's a card that's flipped here. I have the Leo card, the strength card. Persevering. Five of Cups, mourning the loss. It's like somebody's trying to have the strength to move on, even though it hurts. Hmm. Oops. Swing. We have the Knight of Cups right under the hair font. Some, somebody making an offer, a gesture, something kind. Could be an apology. This one just hopped right out. Tower. Right under the Ten of Swords. This could be somebody finding out about a backstab, a betrayal. Then the Emperor, right under the Nine of Wands, something that, okay, something that comes in really hard and fast, blows your mind, because the tower is built on faulty foundation, okay, it had to come down. And then you have the Emperor here, could be depicted as an Aries or a Taurus, or anyone for that matter, and he's about firm foundations, the right foundations. So this is like... Building over again, but the right way. At least it seems like that to me. And somebody needs the strength to pick themselves back up again. And maybe have the strength to start over. Maybe to accept somebody's apology. Yeah. Because they have a decision to make. Two of Wands, right under the Strengths card. It's like somebody needs to, like, get over the pain of something. If they want something to start over again. And then I have the Nine of Cups, a wish being fulfilled, but this one came in the reverse. So, not being fulfilled yet. In the upright, it would be a yes card. In the reverse, it would be no. Hmm. I'll have to get into this. So, the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress, the Queen of all Queens. Now, it's funny, we have the Emperor and the Empress here. She's loving, she's nurturing. She is the successful business person. Because she's Queen of all Queens, she's a little bit of all the Queens. She's practical, she's methodical, she's a realist, she's down to earth. She is kind, she's intuitive. This could be a power couple that needs to rebuild again. Hmm. So let's get into it. So we have the hair font. And that is, you know, doing things a traditional way. Having faith. Having hope. Having a moral standard. 
And then we have the Ten of Swords, this backstab and this betrayal. Tends to be at the end of a cycle. This is done. And you know how I feel about this card? I am so done with you! Deuces. And then we have the Nine of Wands. It's like somebody stayed in this battle. And they weren't giving up. But it's almost like... They're holding on, they're holding on, whether it's a friendship, a relationship, any ship, a partnership. It's like this was like the last blow. And this person needs to have the strength, the courage, the guts to persevere. To go forward. It hurts. This could have been a relationship that was long lasting. Or someone who's been in for a long time. And this person's trying to get themselves up off the ground after whatever this what happened. And then you have the Knight of Cups right under the hair font, and this could be offering an apology. Or perhaps a reconciliation of some sort. You get the tower. And this comes in right under that Ten of Swords, and this is where somebody really feels like they've been knocked to the ground. And it comes in quick. And it devastates somebody. But then right after the tower, you have the emperor, who is about structure, stability. And like I said before, how I feel about this is that something had to be exposed. Something had to be brought to light in order for something to be done the right way. And that's right under the Nine of Wands. So it's like somebody stuck it out, you know, in this battle. Perhaps to bring more structure or stability into some sort of partnership. Now after this betrayal of some sort, it maybe something was offered. But there's a choice to be made. Either you repair this relationship or you go your separate ways. And that's right under the strength card. Because right now it seems like everything is in shambles. And somebody wasn't wishing for this. Not by a long shot. And this is right under the five of cups. Somebody is still feeling the pain of this, so a decision has not been made yet. If this person can muster up the strength to carry on, either solo or being that power couple. Oh, so let's break this one down, folks. Someone here needs to have faith in hope. That a gesture is going to be made. A gesture made of something devastating that knocks somebody right down to the ground. It hit them right to their core. And it offers that this person can still stay in this battle to reconstruct what was ruined. Because that tower had to come down. Something had to be exposed so somebody could start from scratch. And it brings somebody to a crossroads. Do they have the guts? Do they have the stamina to rebuild this? Or do they go on another road on their own? 
And it's hard to see that right now. Feel about the pain. And the devastation of this tower and this ten of swords. It doesn't seem like a wish. I don't think anyone ever wishes for it. But the main focus of this card is that you have two strong people. They've been together for a while in a partnership, business ship, love ship, any ship. That they do have the guts together to rebuild something that could be better than it was before. So, wow. That is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.